What is up, YouTube? It's your boy Connor Gary back on the G Money Zero Four One channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, just coming with you with a uh, quick little discussion video, rant, whatever the hell you want to call it. Uh, you know me; I don't write anything down either. So this is just going to be um, Connor Gary freestyling, just not freestyling rapping. L l l let's not let's not go there, but just a quick little freestyle on things that I think. Sneaker companies, all sneaker companies included, some all, some specific to certain sneaker companies, should do as changes. I would really like to see these changes made. Um, one of them I think everybody knows, and I'm definitely going to say it, but uh, and I'll talk about that, and that's going to be my first one. But before I get into it, of course, shout out to... I Shout out to uh, Ibis365, shout out to Titus1, shout out to all the other big sneaker viewers, Boycott Nice Kicks, Support Nightwing, uh, Free Nightwing, and yeah, all that good stuff. And I have the Giants game on because it's a close Giants and Bears game going on. That's a close game. Uh, yeah, I'm just flipping around. If you see me f looking, it's because it's actually a pretty good game. I hope the Giants win just because uh, I do like to see you know I mean? fail succeed a little bit i think he's a good player but anyway that's enough chit chat let's get into it uh first thing that needs to be changed and again i'm just thinking of things off the top of my head so i don't know how long this video is gonna last but the first thing that needs to be changed without a single doubt in my mind is the rsvp system nike needs to change the rsvp system it's been said a million times it's going to be said a million times more it's going to be said a million times basically every week by every pissed off person who doesn't have a bot aka me who i don't get really salty about it i don't get that upset about it um but you know what a lot of people do that they don't get their jordans uh i i i'm not a real big jordan head but i just go whatever what what Whatevs, I don't care. Oh well. I don't get them, I don't get them. The one thing I'm going to be upset about is when they release the Dornbeckers because a lot of resellers are going to get their hands on those using the bots. And that makes me upset because they're going to resell them for more money and I don't think that's right. I've discussed that before. The Dornbecker shoes should be for people who love sneakers, who care about sneakers, and who want the sneakers and want to support the charity as well. Everything, you know, the sneaker people who are... I mean, the resellers who are buying these, they're not, they're reselling them. They're not giving that resell money to charity. They're keeping that money. I think that's wrong. So that's the first thing that needs to be changed is the Nike RSVP system. Now, one thing that needs to be changed all around, and this is including Nike, is they need to, in my opinion, add more sneakers. And this is a little bit Nike. It's mainly towards the other competitors. They need to add more sneakers to their customizations. What I mean by that is Reebok has its own sort of Nike ID system. I forget what Reebok is called. I think it's like My Reebok or something. And at one point, My Reebok had the uh, Pump OmniZone Light. I love the Pump OmniZone Light. I have mo a couple pairs of them. I think they're an awesome sneaker. They're one of my all-time favorite sneakers. The fact that you can't, and now you can't customize them, but for a short time you were able to customize them. I wasn't going to get them then. I was going to probably get them later. And then one day I went on there and they never, they weren't there and they've never put them back up. And that really makes me sad because I really love the customization that Reebok allowed for that sneaker. They had a lot of different customization options and a lot of different materials that you could use on it. They even had Stingray leather that you could have used on it. It was really cool. They had all these different options for that si for the OmniZone Light, and now you can't do that anymore. And this goes to all the companies because Adi uh, Adidas doesn't have basic. They have very little customization for their sneakers. The only real customizable sneaker are the D Rose sneakers. And I mean, the D Rose sneakers. Do you really want to customize them? And the Customization for the D Roses is out of whack. They're like 60, 70 bucks more. Um, I know, I mean, for the D Roses, I don't see a real big purpose for doing that because their colorways, they have, they do usually do have a lot of good colorways that come out for those sneakers. But, I mean, for like Adidas, why doesn't Adidas allow us to customize the Top 10 2000 or the Crazy 8s? I would love to make my own pair and 
you y'all out there know I love the Top Ten 2000. I think it's one of the best basketball sneakers ever. I love and I love wearing them. Uh, I've played ball in them. I've walked around in them. I've done a little bit of everything in them. They're pretty damn awesome. They're pretty damn awesome. So I, why can't I customize them? The Reebok question. I understand that the Reebok question is kind of a sacred shoe. I understand this because, again, I love the Reebok question. It's my all-time favorite sneaker. Why can't, though, for like maybe two months, Reebok go, we're going to allow customization. We're going to allow the customers for, let's, the questions are usually at around 130. So, like, let's say at 100, you can't tell me that for $185, you out there in YouTube land watching this video wouldn't customize your own question and make your own question. You cannot tell me that. You just can't. If the Spizikes can be customized for like 200 something dollars and they're like 185 price point, I don't know why I can't customize a Reebok question for 185. Or I can't customize a Reebok Kamikaze 2 for like 150 dollars. That would be awesome. I would, I would definitely, definitely go ham. I would go ham on a pair of questions or Kamikaze 2s, both of which, again, are my two, two of my favorite sneakers of all time. I would love to be able to do that. Another thing, why doesn't ASICS allow us to customize the Gel Light 3? ASICS has a, ASICS, if they allowed Gel Light 3s to be customized, oh my god. Oh my god. People would go insane doing that people would love that i think new balance actually has a pretty i think they allowed the 993 and the 574s to be customized those are two of their biggest models especially down here in texas the 993 is the biggest model of shoe and i think in the south in general the 993 is one of the biggest shoes um so i don't have a problem with them their customization and they have a lot of different options i really like how new balance does it but they even they could add some more uh different options and things on theirs. But that's just my opinion. I think that all these two websites should allow for customize of some of their more their bigger sneakers. Like Nike, I I would love if they put the Air Force 180 mids on uh, Nike ID. I would love that. I love the 180 mid. I, I would love to see those guys, those things get up on Nike ID for like 175. I think that would be awesome. You could do a lot of it. And I think you could do a lot of different things with that shoe. I really do. Um... Another thing that needs to be improved, I think, is the Nike SB side needs to improve its, um, you know, I don't want to be too critical of Nike SB, I do love them, but I think they just need to improve their, I, I was, don't want to say outreach, but I do, I don't know how to explain it, to me, I just think they need to get news be out there better, I know they love I know their whole motto right now is support your local shop. I always do when I'm back home. I support Core. I'm a huge fan of Core, and I'm always going to Core. Love the people at Core. But, and same with Tyler. Tyler and I agree on that. You know, always support your local skate shops. However, one thing that I would like to see is just Nike is giving us some more info about these shoes. You know, they're relying on the sneaker websites to do that, and that to me is a dangerous, dangerous thing to rely on the sneaker websites to uh, to get the news out there about your upcoming shoes. You know, I would like to see actually in general uh, companies give a little more like input on shoes. And yes, I'm wearing an Oakland hat. I beast, I know you're laughing because I'm wearing an Oakland Raiders hat and I'm a Bronco fan. But you know what? I'm from LA, so. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> anyway, um, trying to think if there's any more things that I would like to see. You know, cust um, maybe I, I would actually like to see this. I would like to see a customizer from, just a customizer, get their hands on a sneaker and be able to mass produce a sneaker. Um, for them to create a design w with a company and be allowed to, you know, do their own thing. To do their own thing, make a sneaker, and then have Nike or Reebok or Adidas or one of those companies uh, produce that sneaker for as like a limited edition or a quick strike or something. I think that would be really cool if uh, they allowed somebody like JP Custom Kicks or um, 
you know, a guy like uh, Mosh, I don't see why Mosh hasn't been allowed to do that already. I would think that he would be one of the first guys. Um, JBF Customs, I don't think they would ever let him do that because uh, I don't think Nike would really like to shell out for real Python or stuff like that. Just saying. Uh, his shoes are... That's not saying JB Custom kicks it. I mean, uh, JBF Customs shoes are dope. They're insanely dope. I just think, you know... It is what it is. I don't think Nike would go for it. I, I think they would be like, yeah, that's a great idea. However, we're not going to do a shoe made 100% out of Python. Um, trying to think if there's anything else. Um, you know, in terms uh, I think they should also maybe, you know, quickly just listen to the public more. Listen to public opinion. There's a lot of different public opinions out there, but, you know, just listen to the public. Just just give us a little bit of a, you know, we're listening to you. Um, especially Nike. Nike needs to fix the RSVP system. If there's one change that comes out of this video, Nike needs to fix the RSVP system. It's such a screwed up, effed up, messed up, whatever you want to say, up system. It, it's not, it's not a good system. It's just not. It really isn't. And the best way to fix it is to scrap it and and I, I know there are problems if they scrap it and they go back to the old method of lining up. Um, you know, I saw what happened when the Beller 5s came out. Um, it wasn't good, you know. People got sh Two people got shot in line for them. And that's the kind of thing that I think Nike worries about. So I can understand why they're a little tentative about the lineups. But... Um, you know, it's the best way of keeping the hands out of people who don't care about sneakers and are just doing it for money. But, again, that's just my opinion and any other things. Now you guys should bring the bespoke program back to L.A. just because I would love to do a bespoke. I don't think I have the money to do a bespoke, but i just like to know I have the option to. You know, just because. Um... And yeah, I think that's going to be it. Thank you all for watching. This has been your boy, Connor Garrity, on the G Money 041 channel. Like the video, comment the video, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one. Uh, again, sorry a little bit for the length, but, you know, just doing what I'm doing. Just freestyling and talking. Stay tuned for more freestyling videos like this one. Shout out to IBS365. Shout out to Titus1. Shout out to uh, Free Nightwing and Boycott Nice Kicks. And yeah, again, thank you all for watching your boy Connor Gary on the G Money 041 channel. Remember, D is part of the name like Theo Hostia University. I'll see you guys later. And with that, I'm going to hit y'all with the peace.